m and TV, very happy to be joined by Mark Boydman, Managing Director, Peter J. Solomon Company. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, thank you for having me. Tell us a little bit about what you do with the company. Sure, so I'm Managing Director at Peter J. Solomon Company. Mm -hmm. We're a boutique investment bank based in New York City. We advise companies on the buy side and the sell side in M&A transactions. We are an independent advisor. And what would you say differentiates your company, gives your clients the advantage? Sure, our firm is small, and because of our small size of our firm, we really take a hands-on approach. The bankers who show up at the pitch, we always say this, it's our line, those bankers that show up at the pitch are the bankers who execute your transaction. Very different from some of our peers who send their senior bankers in for the pitch and then they hand it off to a team. We are really a very hands-on firm. We're seeing lots of auctions right now. What would you say the advantages of auctions are? Sure, I think in an auction you get a full sense of a market check. So in a negotiated deal, you're talking to one party. When you run an auction process, you see the full landscape of buyers and that allows you to really do a market check and create competitive tension that should get you the highest price, but also the best terms and conditions relating to the deal. When we talk about uh, challenges uh, looking at auctions right now, what would you say some of them are and how your firm actually smooths the way, smooths the process? Sure, well these auctions th can take three, four months, sometimes six months depending on the process. It's a labor intensive process. Preparing the management team, we take a lot of that work and we do it ourselves so that the management team is free to run their company. It's one thing to run a company, but you're also selling it at the same time. Sometimes management teams can get very distracted. We come in, we help uh, understand the company's strategic priorities, their vision, so we can set the story and set the stage for how we market the company and position it in the marketplace. And what is the difference as far as the auctions here? You're seeing domestically versus cross-border, the different challenges there, and the activity. Sure. Well. We're actually working on a series of transactions internationally at present. I think. The difference with international deals is a different mindset in bu of buyers, but also of multiples. So we often value companies based on multiples of earnings or EBITDA. Uh, companies overseas, in, at least in the tech and media sector where I spend time, trade at much higher multiples. So we, we actually use a lot of those multiples for domestic deals to point strategic and financial buyers to higher valuations. But uh, international buyers tend to have a different view of how they value these businesses just based on where their peer companies are trading. So that adds an interesting dynamic when you have U.S. buyers versus international buyers all in the same auction process. And are you seeing more of the same, do you think, uh, continued activity in the auctions? Do you see as, that as the way of the future throughout 2016 going to 2017? Or do you see activity slowing down at all? I think we don't see activity slowing down. I think activity continues to be very robust. But what I would say is that while there are advantages to auctions, there are also advantages to having a negotiated transaction, talking to one party, uh, particularly if, if it's not a sale transaction, whether it's a, a joint venture, a merger, a different form of transaction. I think if a company is being sold, an auction process typically yields the best result, but you can have a targeted auction where you only talk to a limited number of buyers, or you can have a very broad auction where you effectively go out and announce to the world that you're selling this company and invite any buyer to submit a bid. And preparation is key. Preparation is key. All right. Well, thank you so much for being with Terrific. us today. Thank it has you. been my pleasure Enjoyed to it. meet thank you. you.